Hey guys, today we will see how to onboard devices to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint MDE through Intune. For that, first go to security.microsoft.com. Scroll down completely to the bottom where you can see settings. Go to settings and then in settings, select endpoints. Once you go to endpoints, scroll down to go to device management in that onboarding. So in onboarding, we have various options to select operating systems as well as the deployment method. Deplo local script is the option for usually recommended for devices if you have less than 10 or you're testing something. But the others, if you have like bulk deployment in most of the organizations, then you can choose the others. And in operating system, you have Windows, Windows 10, Windows 7, uh, Windows Server as well, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, and Android. Now, if you have in your organization's devices enrolled in Intune, then it is the easiest way and the recommended way to push Microsoft Defender for endpoints. You can download onboarding package or you can auto deploy them. Let me show you how. Now go to the Intune portal. Once you go to the Intune admin center, go to endpoint security. In that, scroll down to go to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Here you can see that the connection status is unavailable. So it clearly says some toggles are disabled and acting as off because Microsoft Defender point, uh, for Endpoint is not actively communicating with Intune for this account. Okay, so we'll have to establish this connection. So go back to the Defender portal. In this, again in settings, endpoints, scroll up the first one where it says advanced features, go to that. It takes a minute to load. And then if you scroll down, there should be one of these toggle buttons for Intune. Ah, yeah, here. So Microsoft Intune connection, it is right now off. You'll have to turn it on. This connects to Microsoft Intune to enable sharing of device information and enhanced policy enforcement. So let me go turn it on and then save preferences. So you get this message saying prefer preferences saved. Your changes will apply in a few minutes. Let's go back to the Intune admin portal and see if it is reflecting. Let me refresh it. Yeah, now you can see that connected data refreshed. So now the connection status changed to available. OK, now we'll have to set one more setting. So if you scroll down here, you have this connect Windows devices version. So and so don't worry about this and about to Microsoft Defender for endpoint. I'm going to turn this on and then turn this on and then hit save. Once you save this, if you scroll up, the connection status changed from available to enabled. Once this connection is enabled, the next step is to actually onboard the devices. To do that, we create a policy. So in the main menu, scroll down to endpoint detection and response. Here you see defender for endpoint connector enabled. If you scroll down, there is create policy. Click on that create policy, then you get option to select the platform. So in this platform, I'm going to select Windows 10, Windows 11. So for Windows Server as well, there is MDE option, but it just requires a different license. For now, we'll select this. And then in this uh, profile, it has endpoint detection and response. I'm going to select that and hit create. So the name I will give it as test onboard MDE policy and you can give a good description so that the other admins in your organization also understand what is going on. Then you can hit next. In the configuration setting, you have this Microsoft Defender for endpoint setting. Click this arrow and then you can see the options here. In this, there is Microsoft Defender for endpoint client configuration package type. In this, I'm going to select auto from connector. That means the onboarding package from your Defender for endpoint deployment will be used directly. So I'm going to click that. The next option is sample sharing. I'm going to leave it 
leave this as not configured. So sample sharing is nothing but you're setting or returning the Microsoft Defender for endpoint sample sharing configuration parameter so that they can share uh, sample data. I'm going to set this as not configured. And the next option, telemetry reporting frequency, it says it is deprecated. So this is recommended for high risk devices and you enable this setting so it reports telemetry to the MDE service more frequently. For now, I'm going to leave this as non uh, config, not configured and then I'm going to hit next. A scope tag is for selecting tags here. This is optional, but you can follow whatever tag standard that is established in your organization. I'm going to leave this blank for now. Go to next. The next one is the assignments page. Here you uh, select the groups that will receive this profile. Okay. So when you deploy this policy to user groups, a user must first sign in on that device before the policy gets applied and the device can onboard to Defender for endpoint. Uh, here I would recommend that you go with first test devices or you know a small set of devices so that you test this on a few machines and then push it out to all of them in the organization. Once you assign the group, you hit next. Once you create that, come back to endpoint detection and response. You can see that the policy is created, test onboard MDE policy, okay? I have not assigned any groups here, but this is how it appears once you have created it. But for you, the group name will be here. Okay. Once you're done with this on the main menu, go to device compliance and then go to policies and then hit create policy. And then you get this option to select your choice for platform. I'm going to select Windows 10 and later and profile type is Windows 10 or 11 compliance policy and then hit on create. So here in basics, you give the name. I'm going to say test MDE compliance policy and then give the same description hit next and then go to compliance settings here I'm going to select Microsoft Defender for endpoint so the option here is require the device to be at or under the machine risk score so you have these options clear low medium and high so what it does if you hover over this icon it tells you that devices which exceed the score get marked as non-compliant. So I'm going to set this as medium and then hit next. The next tab is to take actions for non-compliance. That is the devices that are marked as non-compliant. What action do you want to take on them? So here you have two options, send email to the end user and add device to retire list. So here you can send an email to the end user you can select that and you know you can select the message template as well here if you want to you can create a new notification so I don't have any notifications create uh, message templates created here but it gives you where to go and create one I don't need this as of now and you can add additional recipients as well here you can even add your IT group endpoint management team it depends on you there's a lot of flexibility and there is also add device to retire list. That means when you do this, the device is added to a list of retired non-compliant devices in the Intune admin center. It's only added to that list, but it is not retired until an administrator explicitly initiates the retirement process. Okay. So when an administrator explicitly retires the device from the list, then the retirement will remove all company data of the device and removes that device from the Intune management. So for now, I'm going to delete this, delete this and go next. I'm not setting any action as of now. Here you can select the group that you configured earlier or I, for me, I'm going to say add all users and you have this uh, option to exclude groups as well. If you're testing, I would say you add only the test group here. But when you're doing it for the entire organization and there are some devices that you want to exclude, then you can come back here and exclude it. Add uh, the groups here, okay? Then I'm going to hit next. So this is going to give me the summary of what we just created. Then I'm going to hit create. Now it is 
completely created it actually takes some time to show the compliant you know onboard devices all the status here so once everything is properly connected you can see the report like this so if you go to home and endpoint security again the same thing and then to endpoint detection and response it is going to tell you how many devices are onboarded how many are not onboarded and then if you go to EDR onboarding status, you can also filter them by saying, you know, onboarding status, defender, sensor state. So once you're done with the compliance policy and everything, you can also create conditional access policy for this. So in the same menu, main menu, if you scroll down and in tune, you have conditional access, click on conditional access, and then you can start creating a new policy for this. So something like this, this is an example example that I'm giving you sample policy you can create you can select the users or target resources there'll be a different video on conditional access policy so I'm not going to give a lot of details here I'm just going to tell you why you would require a conditional access policy so in the grant section if you go here you can see either you can block access to those devices or you can grant access to them so you're granting access but you are saying require device to be marked as compliant and you you can choose multiple things here you can also say you know multi-factor authentication should be there or require any other strong authentication method so if you're selecting required device to be marked as compliant it also gives you a message saying don't lock yourself out make sure that your device is compliant okay or it also says require password change app protection policy approved client app require hydra microsoft entra join device so you can select multiple of these or just one and then you can say to get access you can comply with one of these options or all of these selected controls so here they're going with require all the selected controls so this is how you can create a conditional access policy as well so that's how you onboard devices to MDE through Intune. That's it for today. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or anything that you want me to make a video on or any other tools that you want me to create videos for. Hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share our videos. That helps us a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in another video on MDE. Bye-bye.